big news that we on has been tracking the latest on the Purulia arms drop case the director of public prosecution in Denmark has told we on that it is looking into the extradition of the prime accused Kim Devi the Danish Department of Justice has now issued a press release promising action in the case this comes just days after the Danish prime minister Lars Rasmussen told we on that the country will cooperate with India politically to speed up the extradition process the prime minister rasmussen had said that there were issues in the legal process and that the director general of a prosecution is looking into it so that's uh, soon after the uh, prime minister had uh, spoken to ndtv's siddhant uh, sibal saying that the country was looking into the process of extradition of the main accused in the purulia arms drop case uh, Denmark's Kim Devi the justice department has now responded to beyond saying that it is looking at the case and looking at it from the point of extradition so that's a huge impact of uh, beyond's reporting that a decades old case seems to have been reopened at least legally remember india had asked for his extradition and there is i do believe an extradition treaty between India and Denmark but it had got the case had got caught up in legalities with the courts getting involved and the process is continuing there on whether Kim Devi can in fact be extradited he's Siddhant Sibal now joining us Siddhant so this is closely following your uh, talk with the, the Denmark leader and now they're confirming that it's possible that they're looking at the extradition of Kim Devi well uh, we approached uh, the prosecution services in denmark uh, we raised this query and they have replied to us saying that they are looking into the extradition case regarding kim devi this comes just days after our that exclusive from uh, stockholm where uh, the prime minister of denmark had spoken exclusively to beyond saying that he his political backings are there with india when it comes to this uh, particular case uh, regarding extradition of kim devi and uh, now just uh, coming just few days after that uh, 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 development uh, the director of prosecution has confirmed that they're looking into the case they have also attached their release dating back to uh, 2016 in which uh, they have spoken extensively that of course in uh, uh, the Danish language but uh, this development coming on the back of that big uh, uh, press uh, 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 that interview with the with the Prime Minister of Denmark from Stockholm in which he extensively spoke on the subject and also uh, talked about how Denmark and India are resetting uh, their ties is because uh, remember after the the courts they rejected the extradition the the ties between Denmark and India had um, gone towards uh, uh, a low period and after uh, after this summit the India Nordic summit in which the Indian Prime Minister which is Stockholm after a gap of 30 years uh, he met uh, the Prime Minister of Denmark uh, he had a talk with him there was a bilateral meet and now this development coming and remember the Indian uh, the the, uh, the Prime Minister of Denmark told us that uh, the Indian Foreign Minister will be visiting uh, uh, the country uh, uh, we really don't know whether he meant, um, referred to as the uh, external affairs mr sushma swaraj usually the uh, external affairs mr sushma swaraj goes on a high profile visit like uh, one which is underway to china or the mos uh, uh, will be going uh, one of the mos uh, in the ministry of external affairs will be going but it's a reset of ties between india and denmark which had uh, uh, been hit by this incident after the extradition of kim devi wasn't uh, allowed by the courts there so uh, the director of prosecution with the government of uh, um, uh, Denmark will be uh, looking into the case. That means he will be again uh, uh, expectedly called for extradition of uh, uh, Kim Devi from the courts there. But uh, this is a major development. This is a big boost for India also because this comes after the Indian Prime Minister had gone for this big India Nordic Summit uh, outreach from Indian sa side towards uh, uh, not only uh, Denmark but all the five uh, Nordic countries and it was for the first time that such a format uh, was uh, happening between India and the Nordic countries and of course second time that the Nordic countries are holding a summit with a particular country but uh, that aside the big focus of course remains Kim Devi because that was a big issue and of course a thorn between the a bit in the ties of India and Denmark a big thorn Siddharth we'll just come back to you for a little background on to Kim Devi and the Purulia case but first let's just play out uh, Siddharth's interview with the Prime Minister of Denmark Lars Loke Rasmussen 
they're having some uh, contentious issues also, you know, about uh, issues of Kim Devi. What do you have to say about that? Uh, um, uh, are these issues being solved? Well, these issues are... Uh, we deal with this issue in a different uh, legal track. When, when I was Prime Minister the first time, back in between 2011, my Minister of Justice took the decision to extradite him, but it was rejected by the, the court, the legal system. And now our director of the, the uh, director of general uh, prosecution is looking into to, to this, but it doesn't change the fact that today I had a very nice political conversation with your prime minister, and I think everybody recognised that we have to solve the other case in the legal track. And meanwhile, in the political track, we will restart our cooperation in this uh, joint co commission. So that we heard what uh, Prime Minister Rasmussen told you in that interview, exclusive interview. Give us a little bit more on the background of how this case is stuck in Denmark's courts. It's basically uh, uh, the courts there have rejected the extradition of Kim Devi and uh, there is a relook now in the entire uh, arms drop case. It's uh, basically the incident happened way back in 1995 in which uh, arms were of course dropped in the Purulia district but uh, since then the man is out of the reach of the Indian territorial jurisdiction jurisdiction so it's now uh, a case pending in the courts of Denmark and of course India trying its best to get him extradited back uh, to India so big focus will remain on uh, in the ties between India and Denmark will remain on how to get back this man from Denmark uh, to India. Siddharth Sibyl reporting from the newsroom on the impact that his reporting and Beyond's reporting has had. Denmark is moving, it seems, towards some sort of extradition of Kim Devi.